Well, we've got amazing videos for you today because what we're going to do is going to put a build in here and it's going to be lit. And what I mean lit, we're going to be using a thermal take, TT sync controller, which can uh, control nine little objects. I should say products, should I say products? So we can put in, edit, we've got three LED strips, we've got five fans, so we've got RGB, whoa, we've got uh, three RGB, um, what are these? I can't remember what fans these are, 12. These are the 12 premium uh, fans, uh, so we've got three of them, and they've got some long, long cables, and we've got the Flowering 240 to put in there, and as I said before in the other reviews, is that you can put an AM4 LGA266, and that's for the big old uh, CPUs that go into Intel, or AM4, which is a new Ryzen CPU platform, and it also works with all the other stuff as well, like the Ryzen, uh, not Ryzen, the other AMD uh, CPU sockets, and all the Intel sockets, going back to like 775 socket, and uh, the AMD Phenom X3, that those sort of CPUs. Anyway. Um, and we also got in the other video yeah the Pacific Luma plus RGB which comes with a controller and all of that sort of stuff but I'll go through that in one second because what we've got here is tempered glass and this is another new one for thermal tape this is uh, the J2 what is this I can't remember what it's called the Versa J21 TG case so basically the TG stands for Temper Glass and then there was the, uh, the model name and stuff like that. Um, shall we talk about the case? Shall we, shall we talk about the case? So basically, I'm gonna remove these thumb screws with my, with my thumbs, because that's what it's called, thumb screws. Couldn't remove them with my fingers. I probably could, but I'm not, I don't know. Anyway, these are, got, these are metal and they've got a Phillips end at the end, so if you wanna tighten it up, you can do. They're shorter than the normal versions that you normally get with it. Just feels pretty tight to the glass. Um, the glass is nicely wrapped, as I can see. Oh my! Now I know why there's a Phillips. Who thought, thought they were funny? Who thought they were funny? Well, let me just loosen these up. They're not obviously thumb screws. They're screwdriver screws. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, with this case, this case is quite a nice looking case. I like it. In person, it is great. But on like on the website or anything like that, it doesn't look that great. Unless you're thinking, I don't know. It just doesn't look great to me. It looks great in person since I've looked at it. At the moment, we've got rubber feet that hold the glass in place. So that's without all the four screws on there. Take the uh, glass off. Glass is quite thick. We'll have a look later on, I guess, and see. Oh, I might as well just do it now, actually. Just have a look. Ooh! It's slightly a little bit darker. It's slightly tinted. It means it gives it a nice effect on the glass. But we'll have a look at that later. We'll, we'll take that off. I'll stick this down on the side. Please don't break. Right, now we've got inside the case. Now, this case looks absolutely stunning. This case is bigger than the other film we'll take that I did review. Links in the description down below about that one. But this one is pretty cool because it's got a nice little stroud on it, which most cases do have a stroud, obviously. Seven expansion slots on the back there. Um, you can put ITX, Micro ATX, and Normal ATX, not Extended ATX. But this case is still quite simple. It's like a little bit, looks like a little bit longer and a little bit wider. You can put a 360, well, you know what, I'm gonna just, I'll, I'll talk in increments, it'll be a lot easier. What I'll do actually, I'll take the side off and then we can talk about it, yeah? We'll, we'll sit down and have a cap and see. Anyway, we've got some thumb screws. Why have they changed these thumb screws actually? Right, so th these are Phillips screws as well. And they've got like little thumb screw, like plastic ends. So, yeah, okay. We'll stick that to the side. We'll go through all of this right at the end and we'll get some nice little close-ups of everything. Um, the, the door seems a bit more thinner to be able to grab my fingers through. So if you've got fat fingers, you're gonna find it a bit harder. Normally you've got more of a catch or groove to get the actual side off. Right, there we go. I couldn't get it off. I don't know what was wrong with me. Anyway, so at least it means that all your stuff stays in there. So, it's quite tough. But it's got no uh, sound dampening on there. And then I'm gonna put this down to the side. Now, on the back, right, this is this is my only complaint with the other thermal tape case I had, is the fact that when you're using these uh, thermal tape controllers, have you got enough room to literally put the case on? Now, uh, 
that that does not look like you've got plenty of room to run a cigar. But it looks like I've got plenty of room at the bottom. I just don't know where else I'll put it. But is that a problem? No, it's not a problem. Do you know why it's not a problem? Because Brian will take also sent over the TT, the Audi TT sync controller. <laughs> So this is thinner. If you look at this compared to the old controller, this, this fits five, but this fits nine. And look how flat that is. Why didn't you just do that in the first place? So like literally, it's like one third of it. If I put this on the side, oh look, I can put this any freaking way because it will fit anywhere. And I still got room to put all the cables. Mm, can't put it over the SSD drives though, but I could put it, I could put it here. I wonder if I could put it here. I could probably put it under there somewhere. No, no freaking way. No way could I do it. So you could literally hide it underneath there. That is super cool. I don't think fun will take thought of that. I've just thought of that, so that's my idea and I want money for it, okay? Thank you very much. Let me pull this out. All right, so that is awesome. I, I like that, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got, let's go back to the case anyway. So we've got rubber grommets on the back here. Let me take this out. Four rubber grommets. So no black comes off, so no cheap like stuff there. Um, we've got HD audio, we've got reset switch, we've got power switch, and we've got HD LED. Some of these you can plug into the motherboard and have the reset button working as the LED controller if you like. Not many people tell you that, but I'm telling you that. And then you've got a USB 3 and, but why from all tape? Just, just wrap it right to the end. Don't like this spaghetti junction cables. Wrap it to the end, please. Cables are nice and long, though, to get where they need to get to, but we'll definitely be the judge of that when we put it together. Right, so um, we've got a nice ATX power supply that can fit in there, no problem. I'm using uh, Fumbletech 700 watt power supply, which can go in there. And basically, it's got no detachable cables, which means it's not fully modular or anything like that. It's just a normal like, power supply because computers these days are pretty expensive. So the graphics card market is kind of like gone right up and um, it's hard. So basically, if you've got a power supply that you can hide in the Stroud and you're not too worried about the cable uh, management as much, well, obviously you're worried about the cable management, but you, you've got the option whereas um, you've got more room here, if you know what I mean. So with a... Uh, what I'm trying to prove is, is that with the cables not being fully modular, it means that I'm showing you how long the cables are and how they reach and how nice the cable management will be. That's what I meant to say. Um, because computers are really expensive, so if you buy power supplies that are really expensive, don't cheap out on power supplies, don't get me wrong. Don't cheap out on them because like, if you get a really crap uh, power supply, it can kill your whole computer, like literally your whole computer, and then you'll have to buy a new one. So don't cheap out on that. But what I'm saying is, is like this, the size of the power supply, the cables and all that, that's how, it, that's how I think anyway. You've got loads of little nooks and crannies. You've got these trays as well, and it comes with the screws attached. It's got uh, some long screws so you can obviously connect in, water cord in. Um, yeah, it's got literally every screw in there. But this, this is plastic. So this is not like rubber or anything like that, but you can put in two mechanical hard drives there, two SSDs on the back here, or you can put in two SSDs and two SSDs on here. It's up to you how you want to do it. But that's what's keep, kept the price down, but technically no one's going to really see that, so they wouldn't really notice. You got literally about one finger width all the way around the whole case. This does bulk it out where the SSDs are, but it depends on what your little price of market is, so what you're actually shopping for. Underneath, it looks like there's a filter underneath. And there is. It's only a cheap filter, which I freaking hate these filters, I really do. Um, it would be nice just to have something that's magnetic and put it on there, but it doesn't take too long, I guess. But it will if your computer or house is quite dusty sometimes and you need to, uh, or dog hair or whatever, you need to take this out and clean it. Right, anyway, that's there. It looks like you can add 
four screws yeah, you could. You can slide down your drive bay. So your mechanical or SSD drive bay, you can slide it down. It'll give you about another two and a half centimeters of width. So that's pretty good. You've got nice little um, foamy feet for your actual standoffs. It does raise it off the floor. Technically, you could probably use this on a carpet, but not a very thick carpet because it will just dip down and then it will get smothered by the power supply. But the power supply is lifted off by half a, half of a centimeter inside the case. But that's beside the point. The case is quite light actually with uh, the glass door and the, the side panel off. On the front, you've got the TT logo, which should um, definitely glow up with RGB madness. It's got a nice little filter at the top here. Not filter, an intake um, filter. No, not intake filter, an intake for cool air to come through. It's not that much. They've got one here as well. They've got one here, so I'm guessing in the middle. I don't know. I can't really understand it. But we'll take this off and let's see how much airflow we'll get. Oh, this wasn't too bad to pull off. That was quite easy. I was expecting it to be really hard. Normally, their ones are really hard. It comes with a, what's this, a 120 fan on the back there? Oh, that would look better, wouldn't it? An RGB one. Because yeah, I know everyone likes RGB. So we've got 120 on the back there. We've got a nice position, probably about a centimetre and a half of like being able to move the fan up and down. And the good thing about that is it depends on the graphics card. If you've got a thick graphics card, then obviously it's good that you can move things about or like if your motherboard to put an EPS connector, you can move it down, whatever you want to do. As I said, seven expansion slots. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven expansion slots. You've got this little bracket. Oh my God. What? Right, basically these are meant to be thumb screws and it looks like I'm gonna need a screwdriver. There we go. Oh, that, that was pretty tight. That was pretty machine tight. So you can slide this out. And then you get your screws and take the, um, the what you call it out, the expansion uh, slots, and uh, yeah, you're ready to go. We've also got a DC fan. We don't want a DC fan. We want TMW. But anyway, I'll close this, loosen this back up. That's pretty damn tight. I hate these annoying things. I don't know what, what their purpose is. I really don't. I'm going to have to ask someone. And that's called a friend. Anyway, you can put a 120 or a 120 rad at the top, 240 rad at the top, 280, so one, two 140 fans at the top, and you can also put 360 at the front or a 280 or a 240 at the front.
kidding myself Now I know you don't love me Even though you said That you'd never leave me Oh, but I know now I shouldn't trust a word that comes out of your mouth I was kidding myself Why did you have to turn into a liar? Now you're gone right away from me Leaving me on my own Can't you see? You had my heart in your eyes Why did you go? Why did you have to turn into a liar? Like this, don't know what happened to you. Put my trust in you. Guess that I couldn't do that. Oh, but I know now. I shouldn't trust a word that comes out of your mouth. I was kidding myself. Why did you have to turn into a liar? Now you're gone, ran away from me, leaving me on my own. Can't you see? You had my heart. Right, so me being an idiot, I um, didn't, I totally didn't even think about it, but the case 
um, the motherboard that's in there is a non-RGB motherboard and to use this you need an RGB motherboard you can use Gigabyte, Asus and MSI and you connect it straight into the motherboard they've got different voltages that go through it and you can have 9 fans that connect to it or 9 devices so it could be anything look at my description down below for that other video because uh, that will explain everything but I had to go back and use these boxes here which are the old fatties and I got one there and one there because they connect five fans up all together but I tell you what they actually do work without RGB um, motherboard but this doesn't work with an RGB motherboard so please please thermal take do us a favour and make it so it's um, yeah so it's RGB for non RGB motherboards that even makes sense <laughs> But yeah, it's lucky that Thermal Take sent it anyway, so that was pretty lucky. Anyway, the cable management was absolutely stunning, darling. Stunning. That is really just weird. I won't bother doing that again. But anyway, the cable management was excellent. It was all nice. I used about three cable ties. If you really want to spend time, you can cable management all the cables really nicely and everything like that. There's things I don't like about this case. So the screws, non-captive screws. Um, there was no gaps, no breathable holes on the side there. Um, this would this had enough room to obviously put um, mechanical hard drives in, enough room for power supply and cables. This is kind of a small 700 watt thermal take um, power supply in there. Uh, could have had a little bit more extra room for the actual LEDs itself. It's just hanging on the side. If I push them in, it'll be inverted and it will shine straight onto the case rather than shining around the glass. Um, the cables, as you can see, when you've got like a motherboard like this, this is what will happen. The cables will hang out like that. But if you've got a normal ATX motherboard, you still get the problem, but it, it doesn't look bad. It's like they took the, the grommets and moved it. Now, the 24 pin, I've got this big fat cable just hanging into the balance for no reason. So if I bring, if I get a light in there, because I don't know if you can see that. So as you can see, the 24 pin is literally, is literally right here. Now, obviously this is an older motherboard, but with the cables, the 24 pin cables coming up here, they should have had another grommet that you can put there, and that would have looked really nice. Now these two are obsolete, because I don't know what I can actually put there. But obviously it's for water cooling, so I could probably do some sort of, I don't know, pass through somehow or whatever, I don't really know. Never really thought about it. But the EPS connector, at the top there, you cannot barely see it. But yet, the EPS connector, after I put everything on there, I easily fitted it in, in the uh, socket. No problem whatsoever. I like that. Graphics card, no problem. Another graphics card, no problem. Setter, uh, yeah, setter connectors would be no problem here, but there would be a problem up here because it will look and it will be bended. No, it's just really annoying. Other new motherboards might be different, but say that I added another USB 2, you're more of a USB 2 person, um, it would it would be like a little bit cluttered and stuff. The cables here that go straight into IO bracket are right here. It's not too bad though. The cables at the top, I barely got my finger in to get the cable from the PWM, uh, which is a DC uh, for the pump, to plug it straight in into the back there because I forgot and I screwed it all on there, but I still managed to do that. So kudos to Thermal Tape for thinking of like leaving a little gap right there and making it more usable. Usable, usable user, user friendly, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, obviously the gaps here and the heat would be breathable into the case and also, um, what else would be breathable? The power supply would be breathable, and if you've got cables down the bottom, it would be breathable. But just note when you get dust in it, it will filter all down to the bottom, so it would be nice to have like a little filter built into the top. That would have looked quite cool. Um, as I said about the cable management, it's not too bad. But at least it works. So let's turn it on so I can show you it. It all in its heavenly glory in cinematic form with the glass on. But before we put the glass, actually I didn't even realise. Uh, okay. Um, I didn't even realise it had foam on, on the glass to make sure it doesn't. So it's, it's, it stays nice and silent as well. But anyway, let me get the glass and we'll turn it on and yeah.
so now we're going to literally turn this on and see what it looks like. Um, I did get a few electric static shocks from it and it's pretty, really annoying and I found one more annoying thing. If um, we'll take, could you just listen to me for one second? This is like paper on here. If I were to pull this off, it's going to rip and it's going to take ages. going to have to clean it, use water and hot water and soap and all that sort of stuff just to clean the glass. But if it was plastic, I could just go Ew! and it's done. But anyway, other than that, let's turn it on. Actually, let's turn it on properly. Well, I'll be damned. This stuff look kind of good, man. Oh, this looks really, really nice. I love the RGB LEDs that are in there. Pew! And to be honest with you, the lights are shining quite on there. What do you mean using that? Is incorrect? I haven't done one yet. Right, okay. Um, yeah, it looks really nice. It's all synced as you can see. So the AIO, the pump, the uh, exhaust fan, the two intake fans, and the LED lights all synced together. But um, I was going to do the voice activation thing, but I need to use it in the other box because I don't think it's going to work with this box. It needs probably to work with the other box. But when I do another thermal tape uh, video, then I'll do that so it will look prim and proper. Anyway, if you like this, subscribe, share, like, and all that sort of stuff. And links in the description down below where you can buy all of this stuff. And I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching.